Good afternoon. So I am Ahti Heinla. I'm the co-founder and uh, CEO of Starship Technologies. Uh, I should also have slides here. Uh, so in the past, I used to be part of the founding team of Skype. And Starship is doing to the local delivery industry what Skype did to telecommunications. We are radically disrupting it. We came out of stealth two months ago, and the world took notice. So what is local delivery? Households send, spend typically one hour per day on personal shopping trips. And this is a huge waste of people's time. Humankind spends a lot of effort, a lot of time, just to move physical goods from one place to another. And of course, people could use online shopping so they wouldn't need to carry things themselves. But essentially, the waste would still be there. They would be just be paying somebody else, a courier, to waste time on their behalf. So online shopping, that's an outsourced waste of time. Now, if you look at logistics, then a lot of it is actually pretty efficient. When you ship a parcel from Germany to Australia, then the long-range part of it is pretty good. Uh, then an aircraft or a ship is carrying thousands of parcels at the same time. But at the last mile of it, when we get to this residential neighborhood of your friend in Australia, then things change. There's a huge van that is accelerating and stopping, and the driver is getting on and off and knocking on doors. The courier typically spends 15 minutes of time for each delivery, and they are actually not particularly enjoying that time. It is not a very enjoyable job, really. It turns out their managers are not enjoying it either. They're looking at their P&L statements, and they see that delivering last mile costs a lot. And it is really hard for them to reduce that cost, because couriers are people, and people need to eat and sleep. I need to eat and sleep. Is there anyone here who doesn't want to eat and sleep? Please raise a hand. So nobody wants to be a courier. But there is one guy here with a raised hand, the robot. A machine doesn't need to eat and sleep. What if we automate last mile delivery? Have it done by a machine, a robot, and at a much lower cost. And the robot could do it 24 hours per day, seven days per week, at 15 minutes notice, whenever you want it, on demand, not when a courier just happens to be in your area. And this would change things. This would change people's everyday shopping habits. Now, back in the last century, people also used you know, hand tools to cut wood in the forest, for instance. And parcels were transported on horseback. And most manufacturing was done by hand. Nowadays, there are machines to automate almost all manual labor, except last mile delivery. This is the largest remaining waste in the modern economy. And last mile delivery is the largest undisrupted industry in the world. You see, you know, last century, this guy actually was a lumberjack, you know, working in, in the forest, earning money in the forest. Right now, this guy is also earning money in the forest, but he's a model. He's not a lumberjack. <laughs> so when we think about the last mile delivery robots, what could those robots actually look like? Like this. As you can see, this is a small and lightweight robot. And most of the space inside the robot is actually empty. Uh, it can carry about two grocery packs or, or most parcels out there. And it is designed to go on the sidewalks, not on the road. So it's not a self-driving car. It mingles with pedestrians. It, of course, has tons of sensors, so it knows where pedestrians are, and it will not collide into any end. It is a safe device. It doesn't harm any end. It stops when needed. And since it goes at pedestrian speed, it is also only covering the short distance, like the last mile, one or two kilometers. And it's doing that in 15 minutes, as you need it. 
So the robot is driving out of its home only when you, the consumer, call up the delivery. And on your mobile phone screen, you can monitor the progress of the robot. You can see on a map where the robot is. And when the robot gets to your doorstep, then you can open up the, the robot using your mobile phone. You punch a button on your mobile phone, then you, you can open up the lead and the lock here. So there's a lot of, lot of space here, as you can see. <coughs> now, I bet you have heard this vision of last mile robotic delivery somewhere before. Drones. Several companies are building last mile delivery solutions using flying drones. While I think this, of course, could work for some parcels, then people just generally do not like drones. They, don't, they wouldn't especially like drones flying over their backyards with other people's parcels you know, hanging there, or groceries and your milk dripping and you know, all of that. And plus, there is there's one other thing, one other problem with, with drones. Uh, how many here are German or, or speak German language? Oh, most people speak German. Great. So I have learned only limited amount of German. My vocabulary in German is, is pretty limited. But there is one German word that I know which is very relevant for uh, commercial use of drones. That word is verboten, <laughs> forbidden. So regulators and the air traffic controllers, they don't like drones. They don't like drones at all. So Starship is obviously also discussing with authorities because traffic laws are not written with robots on sidewalk in mind. But it's a much easier discussion because this is a safe device. You know, yesterday, just as a test, uh, I removed all the safety systems and sensors we have in this robot. And I instructed the robot to drive against my four-year-old daughter in the office. And I asked her, did it hurt? She said, no. So drones could be a realistic method of delivery, but not this year. Starship is this year. Starship will be starting commercial trials with this robot this year. The technology to do it already exists and is practical. Starship concept is not only about the robots. It's also about automated warehouses. We call them hubs. That's the place where the robots get ro charged the, its batteries, and the robot gets loaded with parcels. And businesses and delivery firms can go to this neighborhood hub and drop all the dozens of parcels to be delivered uh, into this hub. And the Starship robots take care of the rest in an on-demand style when the consumers call up the deliveries. So Starship gives the businesses what they need, a hassle-free, low-cost way to deliver last mile. And Starship also gives consumers what they need, an easy, on-demand, 24-hour way to receive parcels in their homes. So you are welcome to join us on this journey into the future. Thank you. <laughs>